Okay, first stop on our adventure is to do a good deed. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Get over there. There's a little pond over there. <laughs> That's got to be some good karma going into fishing. So excited. We're kicking off the video with some awesome news. Let the adventure begin. LTAB Co. is back. This is a community my pals and I started not too long ago. Started out just selling merch and we've done amazing things. We've grown, we've taken people fishing with some of the funds we've raised. We've donated to fundraisers. We've done amazing things. So we've got brand new hats, the LTAB Co. patch and the LTAB Co. Bass Patch. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who have bought merch in the winter, the spring, the fall, and potentially now. So we've got big things in store. I'll link the website below, but without further ado, new hats are here and a new LTAB installment happens in three, two, one. All right, the minnows have been secured. Looks like we got a little front pushing in here. I don't think it's supposed to rain until like 2 p.m. And it's only like 8 a.m. right now. So I was hoping for a little more sun, but it is what it is. Hopefully they bite. leaving spot change I feel like a dang kid I feel like a dang kid in a candy store it is the most wonderful time of year ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome back to another one and uh, I'm not kidding I'm not blowing smoke when I'm saying these next two to three weeks are some of my favorite weeks in the whole entire year spring is sprung the grass is getting green lilacs are blooming morels are shooting out of the ground if you like to do anything outside and especially fish go now make the time go now the conditions today uh, it's been raining on and off all morning and remember rain days are biting days so i'm out here I got a good pair of bibs on and we're just gonna cruise around. We're gonna cruise around and look in the shallows because everything this time of year is shallow or moving shallow. We've got carp up shallow. We've got bluegills starting to push shallow. We've got crappies potentially spawning. We've got bass cruising in the shallows. We've got walleyes completely post-spawn in the shallows, absolutely chewing. Everything underneath the sun this time of year is biting. Um, and it's just, it's exciting. I'm like two days away from Minnesota opener. Uh, if you guys are watching this a little bit later, it's probably already opened up. So good luck walleye fishing, good luck bass fishing, whatever you like to target. Please just get out in the water and enjoy spring. This is that magic time of year where the water temp is usually on most lakes above 60 degrees. And when that happens, everything is shallow. Everything is biting and things are just, they're happening. So hopes, fears, and dreams going into today. I hope. We cruise around in the shallows, get a good idea where bass and some other species are living. Uh, I might come back here over the weekend. Fears, fears we see nothing and this lake froze out. And dreams, 
dreams, we identify where big bass are living and then potentially catch crappies off the beds. This is that magic time of year where crappies should be really pulled up, doing their thing. They should be jet black. Today, we're just gonna put on a beautiful pair of polarized sunglasses, flip the hoodie up, and we're just gonna cruise. We're gonna cruise and do a lot of looking. I don't care if you fish from shore, you're in a kayak or in a boat. It's the time of year to just cruise around and look with your eyes. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. It's the most wonderful time of year. We're gonna catch some fish, talk about a lot of lures for opener, and have some fun. So, come along. Stick with me, stay tuned. You won't be pissed. Before I took the boat out today, I ripped Ranger Rick around a little bit and I stopped at a few of my favorite creeks, back cuts, shallow bays, and shore spots. Uh, I like doing this A because it's fun and B I get a good gauge on what's happening and if fish are really pushing up shallow. After fishing this creek for a little bit, caught a few small crappies. Some of them still had their color and some of them were jet black. And this gave me a good idea that yeah, crappies are pushing extremely shallow. They're getting back in cuts and back bays and the spawn is on. So. It was here I just dinked around a little bit, caught some fish, hooked up the boat, and here we are. Not yet, Billy. Not yet. Jet black. Could be a nice crappy if it's a crappy. It's oh. a freaking beauty. <laughs> oh, they're doing it. They're spawning right up there by the reeds. I'm definitely not keeping today. I want them to successfully spawn, but it's fun to catch. Might be a nice copy. I want to move closer, but I don't because we're catching. I'm throwing up to a big patch of reeds that they're definitely spawning in. But it's shallow up there. I still like want to keep my distance. I don't want to spook them all out of there. I think there's hundreds and hundreds up there. So it's more or less just making accurate casts kind of right in between 
those reeds. Like I said, I really don't want to get in there, but I want to get in there if that makes sense. This is a pounding. All different sizes up there. Some small, some big, some in between. crappie. It feels like a little bass. It's not, it's a crappie. <laughs> It's important to remember above all, I feel like crappies need shallow cover to spawn. It doesn't matter if your lake has cattails, reeds, standing weeds, standing timber, they will find it, seek it out, and they will spawn right up next to it. So don't be afraid to investigate and get as close to shallow cover as you can. Oh, they are buried in it. I could go way up in there, but I don't want to ruin that habitat that they're spawning in. Crappie beating went on basically the rest of the day and it's safe to say crappies are eating full force. Some crappies are spawning, some crappies are still pre-spawn, and a variety of crappies are even post-spawn. So that led us right into the Minnesota fishing opener and it rained the whole entire time. This is the one clip I have from opener. Holy smokes, without a shadow of a doubt, it's been a blackfish opener. It's been raining all dang day, but we managed to get some beautiful eaters some for the grease and yeah it's been fun though what do you think a lot of rain yeah a lot of rain which brings us all the way to right here a beautiful sunny evening um after that rain passed it's been nice for like the past couple days we've been crushing walleyes crushing bass crushing crappies everything is biting like i said before please if you have time get out fishing our hot players around opener number five shad wrap his head spin color was a player as well and besides that just some staples a jig and a plastic, little moon eye jig and a plastic, and a moon eye jig and a min. All staple baits. 
rounding it all the way back off to the VMC waxtail jig, which caught all those crappies. So like I said before, please get out fishing. I hope each and every one of you is having an awesome spring. Check out the LTAB hats. They're gonna go fast. So if you'd like to order these, please order quick. We have a limited stock um, and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this installment sponsored by LTAB. And uh, yeah, I guess there's nothing left to said and stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. See ya.